Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. In today's video, we are going to be doing a little bit of self-care and some pampering. So I know this time of year, so many of us are go, go, go and don't take the time to slow things down and take care of ourselves. So I want this to be your reminder to slow it down, do a little pampering, a little self-care, Follow along with me. Some of the things I'm gonna be doing, you might be surprised that they can be actual self-care things, but so much of this is about our intention, and I can't wait to show you some of the ideas that I have, and I'm especially excited because Stationery, which I've actually used some of her printables before in one of my cleaning routine videos, she's giving you guys a discount again for her self-care printables, and I'm gonna use some of those as well throughout the video. So if you guys are ready, let's jump right into the video. So like I said, you might be surprised by some of these things that I'm doing and why I'm calling them self-care items or part of my self-care routine. And the first thing I'm starting with is throwing in a load of laundry. And yep, laundry can actually be a form of self-care. Same with doing the dishes, some of your other cleaning tasks, but we'll get to that in a bit. For now, I'm gonna start by brewing myself a cup of tea. I love this tea organizer that I have from Eucopia. It has enough space to store a variety of teas, which I love. I'm gonna use one of my favorite Tazo Dessert Delights, and it's a glazed lemon loaf flavor. It's one of my favorites. It's so good. When you didn't know what you would say Now that I have my tea, I'm gonna sit down and do one of those classic self-care and pamper items, and that is to give myself an at-home manicure. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you know that I always have my nails painted. I feel so strange when I don't have nail polish on, but even though I paint my nails all the time, I don't necessarily make it a pampering thing for myself when I paint my nails. It's usually pretty rushed, and it's just to get some color on there but I'm gonna slow things down today and I'm going to make sure I'm filing my nails properly, taking care of my cuticles and all of that. So we're gonna do that stuff first. And then because I'm doing an at-home gel manicure, you'll see I'm doing a lot of similar steps to what you would do if you went to get your nails done at a nail salon. So I have a prep step, a base coat, two coats of the color that I'm gonna use. It's gonna be a really pretty dusty pink and then a top coat. I will link in the description box below some of the products that I'm using for my nails. If you guys want to try doing an at-home gel manicure, I really like doing them. They last so much longer on me and you'd be surprised at how simple it is. I also put these gloves on when I do a gel manicure at home. There is UV light in these lamps, so I think it does probably protect your hands a little bit. I know some salons actually have them, some don't, so I feel like a little bit of protection doesn't hurt. To make this even more pampering for me and make it even more enjoyable, I decided to watch The Great British Baking Show on my iPad. I've been binge watching it on Netflix. I'm a couple seasons behind, so don't spoil it for me if you've seen the most recent few seasons, but it's one of those shows I really enjoy. I like baking, so it's really fun. It's good to see a show where there's nice, friendly competition. It's funny how sweet all of the competitors are to each other, but this made it even more enjoyable for me to do my nails and watch a show that I like. Another thing that I don't do on a normal basis when I'm doing my nails is to take care of my cuticles after. So the set that I have came with a cuticle oil and so I'm going to put some cuticle oil on and finish off this manicure the right way. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. 
time to switch the laundry. I'm going to put things into the dryer and then hop into my office where we're going to work through some of the printables that I mentioned from stationery. I've used her printables before in one of my previous videos where I did a new cleaning routine, but this printable pack that she has is perfect for what I'm doing today because she has a full self-care printable pack on her Etsy shop, which I will link in the description box below. She has also offered a discount code for you guys, so that will be in the description box below as well. The first one that I'm starting with is a habit tracker, and I'm just writing down all of the different things that I want to track this month. She also has one for a monthly workout plan where you can not only either plan the workouts that you want to do or track the workouts that you've already done, but you can also track your water, put some of your goals for the month. It's a really great way to stay on top of your workouts. She has even more workout printables, which I'm just going to put to the side for now, but she has a progress tracker so you can measure your body and the changes. And this part I'm so excited about. She has a gratitude sheet. And when you think about self-care, sometimes you forget about your emotional well-being and you often think that you might need to have a journal or a diary and write these lengthy paragraphs to get the benefit of journaling or writing things down. But I love the prompts that she has here and I agree that it doesn't take a lot to really reflect on the positives in your life. She has sections for what you're grateful for, the things you're looking forward to, the lessons you've learned, and what you're grateful for. Now I'm gonna work through the rest of these printables and plan out my workout here. I've decided the workout I'm gonna to do today is gonna to be one that I enjoy. I really like doing ab workouts. I don't know if it's because I get to sit down on the mat the majority of the time or not, but I just enjoy ab workouts a lot more. And of course, working out is really part of taking care of yourself. It's physical, it's mental. And that's something I put in the lessons learned portion of the gratitude printable. And I'm sure this is a lesson you've learned yourself as well, but it just takes so much energy, effort, motivation, whatever it might be to get yourself to exercise. But we all know the second we get there and the second we're done, especially, it feels so much better knowing that we moved our bodies and took care of ourselves. So make sure you remind yourself of that every single day, that you just have to push yourself to put your tennis shoes on, put your workout clothes on, whether you go to the gym or roll out a yoga mat like I do at home, just take that first step and hopefully your body should take care of the rest. Now beyond doing the type of workout that I wanted to do today, I wanted to push myself even further to take care of my body and that was to make sure that I stretched. So I'm pretty naturally flexible. I used to be a figure skater. I now coach figure skating. So a lot of stretching comes naturally to me, but that doesn't mean that I should take it for granted or not stretch after exercising, but I often do skip stretching. I think a lot of times I'm just ready to be done with my workout. I find myself losing patience or almost getting bored while stretching. So my trick is to set a timer while I stretch and make sure I'm holding those stretches for as long as I need to. And that's to make sure I get the full benefit of it for my body, but also to make sure that I'm increasing my flexibility and my range of motion and really taking care of myself after a workout.
like I mentioned, some of your mundane tasks and chores really can be a part of your self-care and pamper routine. Don't call me absolutely crazy yet, but I really truly think a lot of this is about your mindset. First of all, I love the feeling of warm laundry straight out of the dryer, so I like cozying up with it. But I think when you think about your mindset, I can use this as an opportunity to sit and talk with my husband or listen to my favorite podcast or music. I'm still watching Great British Baking Show, of course, so I have my iPad set up. And though I don't advocate for multitasking in a lot of different scenarios, laundry is one of those exceptions. Definitely multitask while you do laundry. Make it as enjoyable for yourself as possible. But we also have to admit that when you finish something like this on your to-do list, it's lightening up your load, it's taking things off of your to-do list, and who doesn't think that that's self-care? We all want to lighten up our physical to-do list that we have written down, but also take that weight off of our minds. Now we're to my ultimate form of self-care, and that is to take a bath. I'm lighting a candle, making it extra special. I've pulled out a face mask that I'm going to put on. I'm dropping in a bath bomb, so I'm pulling out all of the stops for relaxation here. I take baths pretty often, but it's not every day that I pop on a face mask, throw in a bath bomb, and light a candle. I'm putting some hair serum in. That's something I do after every single bath or shower whenever I wash my hair, but something I don't necessarily do every time I get out of the shower or bath that I should do is put lotion on. So I'm gonna take the extra time and use some moisturizing body butter and really hydrate my skin. so nice. I'm in the kitchen now and I'm going to do a little bit of self-care in here as well. Baking and cooking is a form of self-care for me. So I think I'm going to do a little baking, maybe make myself a mug cake or a special treat or something like that. But I hope that you guys take the time to slow things down this holiday season. Give yourself a little bit of pampering or self-care or whatever that might be. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.